In today's Student Athlete Spotlight, we're featuring Liberty High School's senior swimmer and cheerleader, Jagger Creasy. Jagger is involved in both those sports along with the regular schoolwork. She's a member of a lot of school clubs and stays very busy this time of year. Jagger, with all the stuff you have going on right now, which is the one that kind of keeps you the busiest? Um, right now it's swim, but I'm also preparing myself to try out for Virginia Tech cheerleading if I get in. So I've been going there to my gym in Lynchburg a few times a week to prepare for that. So it's both of it is taking up a lot of time. Tell me about swimming. What kind of year has this been for you? Your senior year, last year in high school. Has it been a strong season for you and Liberty High School? Um, yes, it's actually been a very strong season for us. Our girls team is uh, one of the top teams in the district, which is great. We haven't won a meet in a really long time, so it's really good for us. And I've personally had a very good season. I've had a lot of personal records and I've had a lot of growth, so that's good too. How long have you been swimming competitively and how much do you feel like you've improved over the years? Um, I've been swimming for as long as I can remember. My mom's a swim instructor, so I basically have been swimming here at the Y for yeah, as long as I can remember. And I think I've improved a lot since starting high school because I didn't take it as seriously but I've been pushed to take it more seriously now. So I think I have improved. Do you have any special routines on swim meet days? Things that you do like clockwork or maybe some things that you avoid doing when you know you have a swim meet that evening? Um, not normally. I kind of just, I don't know. I try not to stress out the swimming days too much, not think about it as much. Not really. So you're not superstitious in, in any ways. You, you don't, mm -hmm. you know, have to do eat a certain thing before a swim meet or anything no, like that. No, not normally. Okay. How about your cheering? Uh, how busy does that keep you this time of year? And if you have a time conflict with cheering and swimming, which sport takes priority? Um, right now, swim is taking the priority because I was in cheer season. Uh, I think it ended around October and it's not really conflicting with each other right now because of the school season being over, which is what really took up the time. But right now, swim is top priority because regionals is coming up and I'm trying to make it to states this year. So... Yeah, that's the top priority right now. You said this year has been a really good year for you. Mm -hmm. What in particular has stood out for you so far this year? What What are you most proud of accomplishments that you've had so far this year? Um, I've been improving a lot on my 100 freestyle time. And I normally don't compete that. So I think I'm close to the state time. And if I place in a certain place in regionals I could qualify so I'm really close so that's good improvement for me. It kind of leads me into my next question I was going to ask you have you set specific goals for yourself this final high school season? Yeah that's basically my biggest goal is to make it to states because I haven't made it before. I was a, I think two places off last year I placed eighth in one of my events and you have to place top six maybe so that's probably my biggest goal you've got a really strong gpa in the classroom over 4.1 you're mm -hmm. 11th in your senior class i think yeah at last ranking mm -hmm. how do how are you able to do all these things i mean you you swim you cheer you've got school work regular school work you belong to a lot of clubs at Liberty High School. Mm -hmm. How do you find time to do all these things and you do them well? Um, I kind of just, I don't know. I try and focus obviously on school first because that's the most important thing. And then I try and just divvy up what needs to be done and balance my time out wisely. 
So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Is the Bedford YMCA kind of like a second home for you? I mean, you, you're here swimming a lot, and yeah. I understand you also work here. So yep. you, you spend a lot of time here. I do spend a lot of time here. I wake up at 5.30 and work here from 6 to 8 about every morning. Then I'm here after school. And then over the summer, I work here every day. So, yeah, I've grown up here. It is like a second home. Swimming, I don't think people realize sometimes how big of a commitment you have to have with swimming, especially, mm -hmm. you know, getting up that early every morning, coming in here, swimming before school. You yeah. have to be very, uh, very committed to your sport. Yeah, I think you need to be able to want to improve because I think that's the only way you're only going to push yourself to do it. So. But it's worth it, right? Yeah, it is worth it. I It makes me proud of myself at the end of the day to see my times dropping. So. I know there are days, though, when you'd rather roll over in the bed and not have to worry about getting up and coming to swim practice. <laughs> yeah, they definitely are. <laughs> they definitely are. One of the groups that you belong to at Liberty High School is called FUSED, mm -hmm. F-U-S-E-D. What is that? Um, it's a club that works with special needs children, and we do activities with them, community service. We actually have one of them on our swim team. His name's Jaden. So, yeah, it's cool to see them involved with things around the school and how it can make a difference like with the people from other teams that get to see that too so it's neat yeah i was gonna ask you how rewarding is that for you mm -hmm. it is it's really awesome because we all get to cheer him on and see like how happy he gets at the end of it and it's just i think it everyone it makes a difference for everyone on the team as busy as you are you probably don't have a lot of spare time but yeah. when you do have spare time do you have any unusual hobbies or interests that you like to take part in um not really anything unusual i like to go on walks i usually walk with my dad if i have some time just around bedford because it's it's nice and i try and read when I have time to, just because. You're only a few months away from graduation. Mm -hmm. What are your plans after Liberty High School? Um, I plan on going to Virginia Tech, but I figure out in February, but I do plan on attending a four-year college and majoring in elementary education. And you said earlier you'd like to possibly cheer mm -hmm. at, at Virginia Tech. How mm -hmm. big of a deal would that be for you if, if you're able to follow through with that dream of being a, a cheerleader at Tech? I think it would be awesome. I, I don't know. I just think it would be a great experience. And to go to a college where you have some sort of family before you're there, I think it would be welcoming. So, yeah, that's the plan. Very good. Well, Jagger, it's been great talking to you. Thank you, you so too. much. Thank you. That is Jagger Creasy, Liberty High School senior swimmer and cheerleader, our student athlete spotlight presented by Play It Again Sports. Mm -hmm.